going on, everybody? I'm DJ Sixsmith. You're watching The Sit Down. One of the freshest faces in Hollywood. It's Lovey Simone. How are you? I'm good. How Very are nice you? Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Good to have you back in New York also. Yes, it's, glad. it's good to be back. Because <laughs> you were how many years in the Bronx? 15, uh, 16? Somewhere around there? 16, yeah. 17, yeah. <laughs> but now you're in Atlanta. Now, you're, well, 18 years. 18? I was okay. born and raised, yeah. I just but New Yorker at heart. New Yorker at heart, always. <laughs> I mean, you work with a ton of different people. What makes the difference between a New Yorker and people who are like LA transplants, Atlanta transplants? What, what's, what's unique about New Yorkers? I'm, I feel like it's the mindset you have to have in New York. You kind of have to think on your toes and all the time. So it's kind of like you're always reasoning. I find that with a lot of New York people, we have a lot of common sense, I would like to say. Got to be scrappy, right? Exactly. And you got <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> so I would say that also just the attitude. I feel like New Yorkers are naturally more confident because like, New York is so real, I feel like, compared to other places. Like, you get, like, the gritty people and the people that, like, are wanting to work and just be there. And you just have to be on. You never know yeah. what you're going to see in the streets. You never, never. know who you're going to have to go around in the streets <laughs> also. <laughs> exactly. Because yeah. everywhere else, it's like you're getting in an Uber, you're getting in a car. Like, people yeah, aren't really walking on the streets as much. Yeah, but for me, I was taking trains all the time, right. too, so. Yeah, and that subway life is different than anything else. It's, it's hot. It's yeah, hot. It's Especially definitely in the hot. summer. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not good. And then if you go to Europe, so I've been to Paris, mm -hmm. they leave the vents open. So imagine like a New York City subway, but like with the windows open. You'd think like, oh, oh that wouldn't be so bad, but actually it smells even worse because all the smells are just going Ooh. all the way through. I can yeah. even imagine that. Yeah, but like New York has the most efficient <laughs> subway system. That's the that's the irony that's of the situation. Point, yeah. <laughs> so how's life going for you? You got Life's Greenleaf life right right now. You got a lot of other cool things yeah, going. Yeah, I have so what's Greenleaf. New? I have Share, which is now on HBO. Mm -hmm. Selling the Spade, which is going to Amazon, mm. which is really cool. Uh, that was like my first time like being a lead in a movie. Yeah, so yeah. that's going to be interesting for me to watch. What was the biggest difference in terms of being a lead compared to just being on something? I mean, being a lead, you kind of are there for almost every scene, and it's kind of like about you in mm -hmm. a way, so it's kind of like everything is revolving around you, so you kind of have to always be there. I've kind of been there, and, and the amount of lines that you have to learn mm. is crazy, <laughs> but like I feel like with Selling the Spades, I definitely got it down packed. Like I have a little flow to how I kind of memorize now, but being a lead is a lot more work. It's just you do everything. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. When you're number one on that call sheet, everybody's looking at you. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's, it's also like a group effort too. Totally. It's just, <clears throat> yeah, sometimes being in front of that camera <laughs> and having to say like two pages worth of dialogue mm. is crazy. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, winding it back, I know That's So Raven was one of your big time shows growing up. I mean, can't blame you. Obviously yeah. a great watch, right? Yeah. What was it specifically <laughs> that got you going with acting and watching that show? I mean, it was just like, everything was like so colorful in that show and I feel like I was really attracted to like all of the the fun that it looked like it promised you know like acting seemed like it was just like so much like jokes and lively people and that's exactly what I what it is like what I realized going into the acting industry like it's just so many people with so many different personalities I definitely feel like being an actor I had to grow up a little faster mm. than other people because you're just given so much and it's like time doesn't even matter anymore you know so it's like wow I'm just taking 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 and I'm seeing all these things and it's beautiful when did you start to sense that you'd have to grow up a little bit quicker than everybody else when I got Greenleaf mm -hmm. is when I kind of sensed that only because I did, I acted, but it was a job still. Right. So it was like I was obligated to be there at certain times and like be up at like three, four in the morning and like be out of the, out of like my work day at like 10 p.m. So that was that for me. Yeah, it's not <laughs> like rolling into high school yeah, or college or anything yeah. like that. Because honestly, like when I was in high school, I was definitely the kid that was like, if I'm tired when I wake <laughs> up. <laughs> I'll take a mental health day, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna like, chill. I'm just going to stay in bed and I'm <coughs> sick. Yeah, you're faking sick exactly, for sure. Exactly, but you can't do that no, in the no. real world, so. Yeah, you got a little more on the line than just yeah. uh, math class first period. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So you mentioned the fact that you were super young when you first get Greenleaf. Yes. What have the last couple of years been like in terms of just you growing as a person? I consider Greenleaf as my college experience because mm. it has the four, the four seasons, right. the four seasons, like the four years of high school. I feel like it's been like each year I've learned something like key important. So like the first year was like the basics and then the second year I was able to kind of work around like my acting and then the third year I was kind of able to live in it and experience so much and like now it's like I feel like 
I was developed enough to like be able to go on a set and know what I'm doing and like know what people want from me, how to change direction and all these other things that they expect from you once you step on a set. Right, mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's nice for you too because you've had the runway of 40 plus episodes. It's not just bouncing <laughs> yeah. on for one episode doing this part here. Like mm -hmm. You really have time to grow things out, which yeah. I'm sure has been a great thing with all the different repetitions you get. No, most definitely has been. That's cool. <laughs> so you guys have a great cast. Obviously, like people are watching Oprah. She's super dope, <laughs> right? Yeah. What, what is something about Oprah that we wouldn't necessarily know that you've been able to now know given your experience with her? I don't know. I feel like a lot of people would think Oprah's like, oh my gosh, it's Oprah, it's Oprah, Oprah, Oprah. But when she's there in front of you, it's like, oh, hey, you're a person <laughs> and you're nice and you give warm hugs. Mm. You know, like. Good hugger? Yeah. I feel like a lot of people with Oprah and like other larger names, like large names, they tend to kind of like get, like, psych themselves up over, like, their presence, and then they forget that these people are literally, like, just like it's me, just and you, human, you know? Right? And I love that I'm able to see that with her and, like, see that she's grounded and she's very, like, stern in, like, whatever she's doing. That's good to hear. <laughs> so it, it feels like your projects that you've done have been really interesting so far. Yeah. Like, so with Greenleaf, it's like, all right, here's this church family, there's this <laughs> whole thing going on, and then it's like, there's this whole separate world that yeah. exists. So. With Greenleaf specifically, what has it been like for you to unpack that whole story and and like looking at it and saying like what you see is not always what you get? Well, um, what do, what do you mean by what you see is? Well, for example, like you're looking at this family and on oh, okay. from from one perspective, you see them on the outside. It's like oh, they got it all together. They got this church family, but mm -hmm. actually, it's something quite different on the inside. Yes, I feel like. Um, the, the, the church serves as like the backdrop to the whole family, like mm -hmm. everything that they're going to be going through. It's like, yes, they're in a church. We've established that and we kind of see that. But what's uh, what is the show about, you know, and it's kind of everything behind the scenes and, and behind the scenes of like humanity as well, mm -hmm. not just mega churches. You kind of see people's secrets, how they handle their secrets, how the secrets come to light. It's been crazy for me as Zora. <clears throat> because I was able to kind of grow with her as um, as a character and like mature like mature over the seasons and to kind of see the difference in like her decision making and her actions and her thought process and how and and her craving for like comfort and peace is beautiful mm. because that's what you want to see like with the characters you want to see them develop like how people develop. Yeah, I think we're just all kind of fascinated by the human condition and people being put in really interesting situations. Mm -hmm. So like Cher, for example, I, I haven't seen it yet, but mm -hmm. it, it looks to me really interesting. Given the moment that we're in right now, given somebody like you that is starting to come up in your career, mm -hmm. what was it like being a part of that project? It was very fun. Um, Cher, that was when I worked with the most people around my age group mm -hmm. so it was different for me because going from Greenleaf and you have all of these veterans and all right, these that older are like actors, 30 40 years old yeah and you're just like Whew, okay <laughs> yeah. and then you go to like this cast and like they're all your age and like we're all just like working and it's just it was a f nice flow that we had going and it was like we were all friendly we all got along and then the scenes that we had to shoot were just we had to get in it and it made it easier for us too because the director Pippa she was like very a big advocate for like chemistry so we did hang out like a week before oh, filming cool. and yeah to get to know each other um, talk about our relationships you know just so we're not thrown in there yeah because if you're just strangers like sure some other projects you can get it done but that was really a deeply personal project there's yes. a lot of emotional stuff going on there yes. it's nice to have that personal intimacy exactly. with somebody mm -hmm. you know exactly so that's a cool thing and then what about all rise i know that's coming up pretty soon right yes that was very interesting too because i played the girlfriend right. of steve and um that was almost like zora but not really mm. i was still becoming my actress that was like the first movie i had gotten after greenleaf so i was still kind of working still out everything out. Yeah, yeah. yeah and i was just having fun with it i was able to have fun kelvin uh harrison is amazing um, it was fun working with him. It was fun working with people like Ro ASAP Rocky. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, th th like when I say like people are people, like whenever I expected to meet these celebrities, I really just, 
I don't know. It was so different from like when I was actually there, and it's right. so cool that I'm experiencing this because it makes me more comfortable as an actress when you're going into these things, and <clears throat> you can go in a room with like Lynn Whitfield and Keith David and be like, okay, like these are like people that I can just talk to and like learn from. These are my they, contemporaries. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that mm -hmm. makes all the difference. And then like you're working with ASAP, and then everything's going on overseas, and you're like, that's when real life hits. Yeah. You know, and mm -hmm. I'm sure that was an interesting time for you to just be like, this is somebody I was on set with, and now he's in this really difficult situation. Yeah. How'd you process that? I mean, I, I I processed it probably the same way anyone else would process it because I didn't feel like it was just. I did see the video mm -hmm. and I saw why he was arrested. I feel like a lot of the times black people are like provoked and then once we do act on that, <clears throat> we're like, we're the villain or mm -hmm. we're the bad guy or we're exactly what you thought we were, you know? But it's like if you're looking for something, you're going to find it, Yeah. you know? No, we still look at things through the lens of race, no matter what, whether it's mm -hmm. subliminal, intentional, whatever the case may be, mm -hmm. and that's a perfect example yeah. of that. Mm -hmm. So when you think about your career, like you've been very intentional in terms of choosing different projects. What's most important to you when you're choosing stuff and what's it like with like just the craziness of streaming, like trying to navigate these waters right now? I feel like I, when when getting auditions, I always like to accept the ones that like I actually, if not relate to, gravitate to gravitate towards because I like storylines, you know, and I like reason and I like things happening for a reason and I like characters that are like so complex that you have to just kind of like really just dive in yeah, and see in. what what is going on. And I feel like with Cher and with Selling the Spades and and Greenleaf, all of those characters had something going on and I had to dive in and say, like, okay, I just like experiencing the character and just letting her go afterwards. <laughs> You're <laughs> able to separate from the two? Yes, I'm able to separate from the two because I'm not Zora and I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not Sela at all. Yeah. So yeah, I can definitely separate. Well, it's great to hear that you can keep your identity too because yeah. some people like just kind of lose themselves and all that. It's nice that you're grounded even it's at the age of It's boundaries. Yeah, you kind of have to, right? Yeah. But mentally sometimes though, because those can be the toughest boundaries of all. Yes, yeah. most definitely. <laughs> so you're doing some cool stuff now. Mm -hmm. When you look around the industry, like who are other people you're looking to? You're like, oh, I like the way that person's moving. I like what this person's doing. Who's somebody that pops to mind for you? Okay. There are a lot of people. <laughs> there are so many people. Okay. Hit me with them. So we've got Denzel, always. I mean, always he's in OG, right? As well as his son, yeah. who was also in, in the All movie. Rise. Yeah, yeah. Yes. John David a, Washington's yes. awesome. He's amazing. Yeah. I also think he's a great actor. Um, Angela Bassett will mm. always be my forever favorite. I can't believe that, like she's still doing it. You know, she like, really is killing it. I aspire <laughs> to be like that. As well as like Lynn Whitfield. Everyone on Greenleaf, yeah. really, I feel like has definitely been a role model to me like in some point they were in shape Absolutely. Away, you know? If I watched Training Day with Denzel and I was just like, Phew. Man, man. I've seen almost every Denzel movie. So. Give me, give me some other good Denzel. Oh you my like. God, my favorite Denzel movie is The Book of Eli. Oh yeah, yeah. I feel like, dang it, I don't want to tell the end. No, but come like, on, the movie's been out for okay, a while. Okay, it's been, but you know what? You, you can just okay. hint at it if you when want. When I like figured out what was going on, yeah, yeah. I was like. <laughs> oh, that's like what I like. That's yeah, the yeah. storyline that I like. You know, like once you like dive into that character and like you're you're trying to figure out what's going on, and then you finally realize, and you're like, that's that's a cool thing. Yeah. <laughs> or like Denzel and American Gangster when he just walks right down the street, boom, Idris Elba, you're out. Listen, Idris <laughs> that's too. Cold. Idris too. He's great. Yeah. I do love the like I do love the way he carries himself mm -hmm. as well. I all of the actors that I named, I also love them because of how they carry themselves and because of. What sh what movies and shows they also decide to do because they also choose things that tell stories right. and are like in the kind of direction that I want to go. And it's not just the same sort of thing. Like exactly. they're they're flexing different muscles to challenge exactly. themselves different parts. Exactly. And I think the fact that you realize that already is pretty cool. You know. Yes. That's why I want to be in like everything, not just <laughs> one one <laughs> kind of thing. Are you able to find balance in your life too? Has it just been at this time like so much work? Like do you still separate and get that time for yourself? I is definitely get that time for myself. I'm an introvert. Yeah. I 100%. So I do need my alone time and you, I, you have to recharge. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So I'll find whatever I can to decompress. So that's <laughs> interesting. You're able to turn it on. You know, some introverts are just kind of you can tell on the surface. Like I, I wouldn't have realized honestly. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, my fiance is an introvert. So it was like okay. it was like learning that different love language and understanding yeah. like all right, you're not going to talk to me for a little bit. Like you just need your time and like yeah. that's all you it do takes. Need, and that's the recharge. Yeah that just time by yourself just to do whatever it is that fills your soul. I think a lot of actors are introverts too, which not a lot of people realize. Yeah. You know? 
I think so too. <laughs> I think so too. As I'm like getting more yeah. into it, I'm realizing a lot of us are. Yeah, because people come through here and you start talking to them and you're like, oh, this person is much different from <laughs> the way I anticipated them being. Mm -hmm, and exactly. I, it just goes to show the acting prowess that's out there right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So what are some other shows you're checking out? So obviously we got a ton of stuff to watch with you, but what do you like to watch? <sighs> Ooh, I like, what do I like to watch? I, what have I been watching? Oh, I've been watching Dark Crystal, oh, The I Age of Resistance on Netflix. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing because it's a show based off of a movie. Mm -hmm. that I think that was in 1996 or something. Okay. And I love that because it's very like true to the original. True to the form. Yes, and I also, Love any cooking shows. Oh, you're in on that. Any cooking show, like uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives. <laughs> like even though like I'm mostly vegan, mm -hmm. like I definitely love watching all that stuff. Um, what else do I love to watch? I would say American Horror Story for okay. sure, as well. So you really like to escape, whether it's the cooking stuff oh, or, yes. or the dark stuff. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh <laughs> yes. Of course. You call me an escape. <laughs> but yeah, you kind of need to, right? Honestly. Yeah, just, reality can be a little crazy sometimes. Yeah, life is not doesn't have to be that deep. You're like, <laughs> I just want to check out for a little bit. Hang out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's awesome. So yeah. if people haven't checked out Greenleaf, what are a couple big thoughts for them to have? Or just, you know, what type of actor are you when they're going to check out the show? I'm a wild child on Greenleaf. <laughs> yeah. I'm a wild child. I do whatever I want, <laughs> whenever I want, at the cost of whoever, mm. whenever. And I feel like that's definitely changing now mm. uh, throughout season four. So I do want people to see that that is Zora in her younger, less matured state. And I feel like I'm, she's grooming herself to be a mature young woman with the help of Lady May now that she's doing Bible study and all this stuff this season. So it's cool. Awesome. Looking yeah. forward to checking it out. Yeah, Love thank you. you so much. Thanks a lot. Good to meet thank you. you. That's Lovey. I'm DJ. We'll see you next time <laughs> here on The Sit Down.